Hello children. How are you all? Hope you all are good at home. So today we will learn about our circulatory system and excretory system. So our body is made up of many organ systems. These organ systems they all work together so that our body can function normally. In this chapter we will learn about circulatory and excretory systems. Now what do we mean by circulatory system? Let us start with that. Yes, this is our circulatory system as you can see here on the screen. The circulatory system it helps to transport substances inside our body, right? This system consists of three parts. Look at this the picture, look at the picture on the screen. Heart, arteries, veins, right? Heart, blood and blood vessels. These are the parts of the system, right? Then now let's talk about the different parts of system. Now, let's talk about heart. What is heart? It is that part of our body, it is that part of our circulatory system that pumps blood to all parts of our body. It is a muscular organ that pumps blood to all parts of the body. Right? Now, what does it pump? It pumps blood. So, what is blood? Blood is a fluid that is carried by different blood vessels to all parts of the body. So, actually what is blood? It is a fluid. It is a medium through which nutrients, water, oxygen, waste products, carbon dioxide, they all get transported inside our body. In our body, jitne bhi nutrients, hai, water, oxygen circulate ho hai from top to toe, it is through blood only. Right? Now, let's talk about blood vessels. So, blood vessels are the thin tubes that run through the entire body to transport blood. So, the different blood vessels are arteries, veins and capillaries. As you can see here on the screen, arteries are of red color, right? Veins, they are of blue color and these are the capillaries, right? So, there are three types of blood vessels in our body, arteries, capillaries and veins. So, this is all about our circulatory system and parts of our circulatory system. Now, let us talk about excretory system. Now, this is an organ system that helps in getting rid of wastes formed inside our body. Whatever you have in the morning, in the afternoon or at night, all the three times, whatever you have, the nutrients of that food uh, your body absorbs. But what about the waste? What about that material which is not required by our body? That should be, that should be removed from our body. Then which system is responsible for removing these wastes from our body is excretory system. So the process by which wastes get removed from our body is called excretion. So our excretory system it consists of kidney. Look at kidney here. Ureter, urinary bladder and urethra. Right? So... Kidney is a kidney acts as a filter where the urine gets urine is formed, right? And the uh, urine contains those harmful waste products formed inside the body. This ureter it carry urine from kidney. It carry urine from kidney to urinary bladder, right? And the urine is stored here in urinary bladder. Then when it becomes full, then you feel like you are going to washroom. Then 
you from urethra it passes out from your body so this urethra this helps to pass the urine out of the body so this is all about your excretory system right so the parts are kidneys ureter bladder and urethra these are the different parts of excretory system so where the urine is formed urine formation takes place in which part kidney uh what carries urine from the kidneys to the, to the urinary bladder ureter and where is urine stored it is in the urinary bladder and what helps to pass the urine out of the body that is urethra so this is all about your excretory system we discussed about two more systems of our body circulatory system and excretory system all the systems in our body all the organ systems in our body they work together so that our body can function normally and properly right so this is all about the chapter i hope you all have understood the concept of our systems in our body take care children god bless you all